Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to a video of replacing the thermal paste of the graphics card. If the thermal paste applied for thermal conduction is dried by the heat generated from the GPU chipset on the graphics card, the temperature will rise during the game, which may lead to poor GPU performance and severe shutdown, so it is recommended to do this once after use. Let's start now. Today's graphic card is Asus RX 5700 XT. All graphics card products have three components, a board with a GPU chipset, memory, a heat cooling heatsink, and a heat extracting fan. There is usually a metal plate attached to the back of the board to cool off. But it's not in the low-cost version. Now I'm going to dismantle the graphics card to replace the thermal paste. As you can see, there are 12 screws in total. Of these, 6 are screws that hold the fan and the other 6 are holding the heatsink. Please never do this if you're not confident. And please be aware that the warranty cover is no longer available once it is disassembled. We recommend this work only for those who have been working for more than 3 years and have overheated. Loosen all screws. Loosen the screw that holds the fan on the side as well. It may do the job for a while, but after a bit of time, you may notice operating temperatures increasing. Using a good quality thermal paste allows for better heat transfer between the GPU and the heatsink and a longer lasting product that won't go hard and do a poor job after 6 months to a year. When you loosen the screw, remove the fan first. Disconnect fan connector and RGB connector from the board. The line is thin, so be careful not to break it. And heatsink is attached to the thermal paste, so shake it sideways and remove it carefully. Do you see the thermal paste that I applied before? It removes it. If you don't remove it cleanly, it won't perform well, so I'll remove it clean with thermal remover from now on. As you can see here, this is a memory chipset, and you can see it covered with a cooling pad. Since the cooling pad is in good condition, I will not replace it this time but just apply the thermal paste. When removing the thermal paste, remove it roughly using the paper towel before using remove. Then use the thermal paste remover to wipe it clean. Be careful not to get the thermal paste on the board. The surface of the board should always be dry. Thermal remover consists of numbers 1 and 2. At this time, use Q-tips rather than a paper towel to wipe the surface cleanly with number 1 and number 2. Well, it's been cleaned up now. Spread the thermal paste thinly so that it is applied evenly to the surface of the GPU chipset. That way, the thermal conductivity will improve. Then I'll rebuild it again. First, put the heatsink on the screw hole and put the case on it. Then tighten all the screws. After I reapply the thermal paste, the temperature was measured and found to be 1 to 2 degrees lower than before. Plug the fan connector and the RGB connector back in just as you would when disassembling.
Now close the side cover and tighten the screw holes to finish. How is it? Guys, like I said, never do this if you're not confident. And please be aware that the warranty cover is no longer available once it is disassembled. We recommend this work only for those who have been working for more than 3 years and have overheated. That's it for today's video. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.